end of today, huge day for yourselves. It's the culmination of a lot of work gone into getting the headquarters right. Could you give us a bit of a background into it? Yeah, thanks John. I mean, it's a fantastic day for not alone for Munster GA, but for all the bodies of being associated with the GA in Munster. Obviously, this new head office is headquarters for Munster GA hurling football, but also for Kamoni, football, handball, and all the affiliated bodies. It's one of the first times that all GA related units are associated in one office. Um, I suppose it's been approximately 45 years in the making, uh, in that the long process went into looking for an appropriate site. I suppose when this Office of this, this current site was uh, settled upon about three years ago. It's been, uh, it's been approximately three years in the build then, from going to a design phase, planning, tendering, and then construction to, to where we get to today. The huge thing for me, and is you know, you haven't, there's, no, there's been no need to go to the banks. That must be a, a big thing for yourselves as well. Well, I suppose it was one of the, 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 the briefs set when I started in, the, in my role in terms of the, what the council wanted in terms of that. It was crucial that in a project like this, and in given the fact that we're in the middle of a, a steep recession, and we did an impact on the funding we give to, count, to clubs, to counties, to community, to handball, to schools. So essentially what we've done is we have managed the process over a number of years uh, by we restructuring some of our internal uh, accounts and our operational expenditure and cash flows. And as a result, we're here today and we've managed to maintain, I think, approximately 72% of the revenues we've generated over the last number of years has continued to go to clubs and counties and to affiliated bodies and have an impact on that over the last three years to the project. And it's something for, you know, we're talking 20, 30, 40 years, this is here? This has been, I suppose, as far as you can in any building project like this, we have endeavoured to, to future proof it for all developments that may happen in the, in the GA and the, in the affiliated bodies. As I say, it's designed specifically to cater for two functions. One is the administrative needs of those bodies, both in a day set, daytime setting, or through coaching, through administration, through ticketing, through matches. And then the other side of it is obviously the committee structures. That's where the meeting rooms are set up to not be utilised at night time. So it's like a building that will operate, I wouldn't say 24-7, but at sometimes during the winter really, it'll be going close to 18 hours a day in terms of operations. So everything is designed to make it as user friendly and as flexible as possible, particularly for the committees who come here. These are people who are giving their time voluntarily and it's essential that we give them a setting that they can operate and do their business in a, an efficient manner because I suppose we appreciate everyone's time is valuable at the moment. And I think you're right.